Well, g'day DLive, and welcome back to another Gives a Minute DLive video. Heck yeah, January 1, 2022. Apologies if this is a little bit rusty, this uh, particular video. I'm a little on the hungover side. It's the morning of a new year, 2022. I gotta drink some water here. I'm a little, I'm a little on the downside here. But that could be the greatest way to open this video because, well, last year on DLive, let's just say it wasn't the greatest year. However, there has been a few things that I want to address in this video. There has been a campaign from DLive, which is few and far between in 2021. It was the Christmas campaign. You know, it was what it was. It was a strange one. It was the advent calendar. You had to open up things every day and then you got a little prize at the end. Um, I missed a few days and then I missed the actual Christmas day because I was busy with family and then I went to come and check my advent calendar and if you didn't open it on the day you, you didn't get a chance to open it later which is not how i remember advent calendars i remember if you missed it you opened up two on the next day and you ate both chocolates but anyway i guess we can have a look at it right we could take a look at it if we go across to here i guess we'll go to d live community i think that should come up if i just start talking nope oh this is a new machine of course um I've got a brand new MacBook, folks. It's the 2021 MacBook Pro M1 Max with 64 gig of RAM. This should be sailing along. So can we make this a little larger? Christmas on DLive 2021. So that went up on December 10. Let's just take a little read of the announcement. Uh, happy holidays, DLivers. We're so happy to spend another holiday season with our DLive family. To celebrate, we're pleased to announce another installment of Christmas on DLive. From December 14 through the 25th, come join us for fun surprises, tons of holiday cheer, and a Twitter party. DLive festive calendar. Starting on the 14th of December, you're invited to start opening your DLive festive calendar. Each day, a new surprise will be revealed for you to enjoy. As with all good festive calendars, look out for the final day. We have a real festive treat for a select few lucky users. Uh, your calendar can be found here, but no peeking. It won't open until the 14th. I wonder what happens if we click that now. So I guess you can see what the rewards were now. That's pretty cool. So you had an avatar image on the 1st or the 14th. Global emote the next day. Global emote the day after. Avatar image of a little candy cane. Then there was a global emote the next day, avatar image, global emote, global emote, avatar image, global emote, avatar image. And then there was a lemon reward on the final day. Now, like I said, I didn't actually get to see what the final reward was because I was busy. And when I came to get that afterwards, it just didn't work. So there was the Twitter party. Let's have a look at the Twitter party as well. Let's go back. DLive Holiday Twitter Party. On December 23rd, come celebrate Christmas Eve Eve with us on Twitter as we pull out the party hats and holiday memes once again. We'll be asking 10 questions during the party and the best answers to each question will win a shiny new Ninja Gini. The party starts at 9 a.m. at PST, blah, blah, blah. So um, let's go, says Feast Gamer. Brody, a hot recommendation from my friend. Check this out. Okay, that'd be spam and silver. So, I mean, I've always said, I don't really understand why I take like a party off platform. Like if you're gonna bring users to DLive, I would have thought bringing them onto the platform, not sending them somewhere else, like Twitter would be the better option, but hey, that's just me. Um, I'm stoked that DLive ran a campaign. I'm just happy that something has happened at the end of this year, because not a lot's gone down this year. DLive have been very, very quiet. I can't even recall if this happened at the end of last month, so November, or when this happened, but were you aware that Justin Sun pulled the pin and left the Tron Foundation. So not only does DLive not have a CEO of the product or of the platform DLive, because let's not forget Justin Sun left and there still isn't an announcement. If there is a replacement, we've done our own digging and found Bin Bin Deng. Bim Bin 
Bin Bin Deng. We found it. We 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 sleuthed it on my streams and we found who the CEO of DLive is, but there hasn't been any kind of announcement from DLive. I don't think there's going to be one, personally. It's been seven months now. I don't think there'll be an announcement because Justin left in June or July. Either way, a long time ago to not have any representative from DLive come out and tell us who's running the show now. So why would that happen when the CEO of Tron, which is the company that owns DLive, when he leaves, which he has left, he's now a diplomat for Granada. I'm not too sure what's going on there, but there's some tie-ins with Granada and China, right? That's got to be why that exists. But either way, I don't think we're going to get an, an announcement from DLive. Um, but just a little heads up, Justin Sun's gone, Charles Wayne's gone, the ship without a rudder is now... How could I metaphor that up? Before DLive didn't have a CEO and they were a ship without a rudder, now the the platform or the organization who owns DLive doesn't have a CEO. So that's almost like the planet is just rotating around the sun without, what's it called when it's it's in orbit? Yeah, it's got no orbit, right? It, anything could happen, it could float off. You know what, I can't work out, I can't do that today, I'm a little, I can't work metaphors out today. I'm a little hungover. What I can do is we can go and have a look at the platform known as DLive on the first day of the year. DLive.tv. So this is what the platform does look like. We will take a look at the wheel. Currently on the wheel, Mystic Soul on a celebrating the new year in style, streaming to 19 viewers. Happy New Year, Mystic Soul. Then on the wheel, we have Venturian streaming to five viewers. Kingdom Hearts Marathon Begin. We've also got Pogo Joe 73 streaming Pokemon Sword Rapid Trails and Battles to no viewers. Um, nice to get a. It's it's always good to see a, a stream that doesn't have viewers up there on the on the wheel. That's a good thing, right? We're promoting other streams, which is rad. Who's next? Marshall Dracow, The Posse Camp, Axie Infinity Scholars, streaming to no viewers. And the last wheel activity is Jyster, Sco PS5 Merry Christmas Road to Glory, Furts, streaming to no viewers. So that's the wheel scrolling down on the platform. Mafugles Live, uh, streaming to 295 viewers. Uh, Texas News Studio is next to 119 viewers. Then we have Scientology Truth Show streaming to 47 viewers. New Year's special, call-ins and media. Then we have WTFR streaming to 42 viewers. WTFR is just the name of their stream as well. And we have Ma Madovan's Blog. Happy New Year from South Africa, streaming to 32 viewers. And we're not going to go further down the line, but that's what the lineup does look like on the machines right now. Uh, this looks like an IRL stream here. That looks cool. I won't be checking that out, but we will just bump in and see the actual streamers here on the machines. Let's see what Geist is up to. Enter. <laughs> Uh, we won't be using audio. I haven't got my audio piped through yet. My new machine I haven't set it up correctly, but that's cool. Usually this is copyrighted audio anyway. So, Jyster, um, that's not that's not fair, dude. I want to hear them. Let me just see if I can quickly patch this in. Um, Firefox audio. That should be straight away. I can do this pretty easily. Yeah. Okay. That's done. I just click one button and it's done. Let's hear what Jyster's got to say, if he has anything to say. Oh no, it's music, it's music. Not doing it if it's music. Sorry, Jyster. Had a chance to say hello and uh, see who you are and what you're doing, but not if you're playing music. That's just a no-go for me. Uh, that's Jyster first wheel activity. Oh, the, the wheel, oh no, there we go. Mystic Soul, let's take a look at Mystic Soulskies. Okay, his audio is quite yeah. low. Well, you were cussing, and I was like, well, she's playing Call of Duty, and Julie's like, my husband's cussing at Call of Duty too. I guess he's been, someone someone just got blocked or something? <laughs> no, I don't think he 
Other way, uh, Mystic Soul has been live for four hours and nine minutes. He's got a hundred. He's got one thousand nine hundred and thirty-three followers. Congrats on that number, dude. That's radical. We didn't actually check out the other streamer. What was the other streamer's name? And there, we didn't check out Jyster's actual stream. Let's just go back in and have a quick look at the numbers. Uh, Jyster has been live for three hours. He's got one hundred and nine followers. Congratulations, Jyster. Let's go to the next wheel action activity in this looks like Venturian. Let's go and say good day to Venturian. Oh, oh, nope. Commercial music possibly. By the way, Venturian, uh, he's got some funky glasses on and he has been live for four hours and 38 minutes. He's got uh, 26 followers. It's a good start there, Venturian. Welcome to the platform, I guess, if you're new here. Happy times. Uh, also, notable, worth notable, worth notably mentioning is that the logo up in the top left of the corner here, D Live, the little eye is a Christmas tree. That's a nice little subtle change for the festivity seasons. Let's cruise along from Venetarian to Pogo Joe seventy three skis. See what Pogo Joe's up oh, to. Okay. Well, I don't trust the music. Pogo uh, Pokemon comfy. Been live for two hours and 24 minutes and has 39 followers. Congratulations, Pogo Joe. There's his little camera there. Got an interesting green screen activity going on in the back there. It's like it's snowing. Don't get wet with the snow, Pogo. Don't get wet with the snow. Let's go back and check the next wheel carousel love action. Pogo Joe, I guess this is the last one. Marshall Dracow. Yeah, because that's Jyster on the side there. Marshall Dracow. Marshall Dracow. He's quiet. He's very quiet. You know why he's quiet? He's been live for 10 hours, dude. Look, 10 hours he's been live. She. He's got 52 followers. That's a big start, dude. I know we've just popped in, but you may want to talk as well. <laughs> just if, if you're going to live. I mean, you can just live stream without talking, I suppose. But interaction is the key. But 10 hours, congratulations on a mammoth stream. Let's get back to the wheel action here. So that's the wheel activity. Before we go and have a look at my channel and see how we've been doing uh, throughout the month of December 2021, there is some sort of sad news to announce, I guess. So I'm not going to bring this up on camera because you can go and have a look yourself. Hey, 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 keep it down over there. I've got someone's activity. Um, but you can go and look at this. It's all public in the Discord, not the um, partners Discord. This is the public accessible Discord. There are a bunch of people who are reporting errors with payouts on DLive. So streamers trying to withdraw their lemons as either cash or PayPal or even uh, crypto TRX. There's been all kinds of issues and it's in the help dash center. And it, sad, it saddens me to see this because if anything, like, there's been a lot of bugs on the site, right? Nobody's denying that. There's been a lot of bugs. I mean, the chest hasn't worked for a long time now. Not that I'm that fussed about that because there's great new ways for streamers to monetize their content coming. I'm being sarcastic, right? We're, I'm trying to be... It really sucks that not only is the site having issues, but one of the key things for a streamer is to be able to be paid. And that's been bugging out for a long while. And unfortunately, the main response we see is submit a ticket, which may well and true fix the issue for the individual, but it doesn't give anybody perusing the Discord, doesn't give them the sense of, oh, okay, so everything's being resolved. If you, you know, when you go to a, a forum and you maybe you got an issue, maybe, you, maybe your phone isn't charging or something and you go uh, iPhone 7 Plus, right? Yeah, I still got a 7 Plus. iPhone 7 Plus not charging. And you see a thread where someone says, oh, um, yeah, I figured out how it's fixed. And then the thread gets archived and closed. And you don't know. You never find out how. All you do is find out that someone had a problem charging their phone and they resolved it. But you don't learn anything from it. So these idea of submit a ticket, submit a ticket, submit a ticket, sure, it may resolve the issue for the individual, but it doesn't instill any faith to someone that's just looking at the site going, maybe I'll stream there. Look at all these ticket issues that people are having and what have they resolved it? Or are they just having to keep submitting new tickets? That saddens me, but 
it shouldn't come as a surprise, right? It shouldn't come as a surprise given how DLive has progressed this last year. So we're 2022 now, a fresh new year. With that said, there are options for DLive, right? This is a this is a chance to set things right and start again. To do that, there'd have to be an acknowledgement of wrong. And it doesn't seem like that's happening, right? No one's really taking accountability from DLive. It seems like it's all just kind of pushed pushed aside and it's like, yeah, we're moving on. There's great new ways of, there's great new things coming, uh, all these new things, sit tight, sit tight, sit tight. On that note, I want to talk a little about my, um, my channel, Gives A Minute, and some of the things I'm going to be doing just slightly different this year. I always put a huge, huge effort into my DLive. I really wanted this site and my channel and my community to succeed. Like I wanted it to be massive, right? I wanted, everybody does it. Right? You start little and then you want to progress and progress. It feels like I've met the limit of what that can be on DLive. The physical upper limit of what I can achieve now, you could also say, but you know, you should never give up, right? And I don't want to give the wrong message. I'm not giving up, but I am changing things. I'm changing things based upon based upon the site around me. So if the site was how it was when I came here in 2019, I, you wouldn't be having this discussion. I'd be, yeah, man, this is awesome. This is the greatest thing ever because of A, B, C, and D. It's so sick. Get over here. But it's not, and it hasn't been for a long time. And so for me to continue doing what I was doing back then when the site was absolutely insane and perfect makes no sense because it's not that way. So the very subtle differences I'm going to be making, very, very subtle changes. If you go and have a look at my site, let's go over here and have a look. I guess we got to go because oh, I'm not logged in. Yeah, this is right. I'm not, not, I'm not logged in. So let's get rid of my hideous head and just type in gives a minute here. Press enter. So there I am playing a rerun and um, oh, IRL. So that was when, <coughs> when I was in Adelaide with James. Uh, very cool. By the way, that's uh, that's not the resolution I streamed in. I'll change it to source just so that you can see the source quality. And we'll just have a little sneaky peek at what I'm talking about there in a second. We'll give it some volume in the guts as when it when it changes switching to source. See this down here? When it does hit source, it'll look nice and clean. Um, I do appreciate that DLive give you the option to stream in 1080p 60, uh, even though this isn't a 60. This is, there, there you go, so it's clean now. Okay, I, I didn't remember that, Hendrik. I don't recall doing that, but I trust you. If you say we did, we did. I believe you, man. I believe you. Let's go down a little lower here. We want to see a little more of the grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice little spot here too, huh? It is, man. Cozy. No houseboats. More birds. It's a oh, dude. This, mall it's a mallee fowl. This says private property here. So we're on so, the private property already. Just, click, just just let us let that roll. But that's just an IRL stream I did in Adelaide, South Australia. But what I wanted to show you, um, that's James, by the way, Drumzilla, heck yeah. He brought some Jack down. We had a little tasty taste. What I wanted to show you is if you go down to my replay section, so I've taken a lot of care, aside from these ones, ignore ignore Murray Bridge, Glenelg and Murray Bridge. I Essentially, I had no time to make thumbnails for these ones, but I've, as you can see, I've always put care and effort into my thumbnails. I've always taken a lot of pride in trying to make my stream and, and my page look presentable and therefore attractive to newcomers. So if someone stumbled upon my site and they're like, I don't like the look of this IRL stream, what else has he got? They could easily just go down here and, oh, he's got Christmas Eve beers. Uh, he's got beers in a cap game, Kong's 10, still waiting, new laptop. And, and, it, and it becomes uh, some, something that's enticing, kind of like what you would expect when you're trying to promote something. The problem is, or not the problem, but the situation is I was doing this because I was told, and this was one of the features once BitTorrent was integrated with DLive, that these streams, these exact replays right here, these would all go through and be archived on the BTFS, BitTorrent file system. So the idea was that anybody with the BitTorrent client could search up something and bring up your previous stream and then download it and torrent it and share it out. And so therefore you're getting in front of way more people, like the eyes that you would 
your content would get out in front of heaps more people at that particular point. A thumbnail is critical for that, is it not? If we've learned anything from the tubes of you, thumbnails are stupidly important. So I was going across and doing all the things. Now, this has been ongoing for so long that this just isn't happening. There's just, there is no integration with BitTorrent file system. It's just, there never was. It's never gonna happen. So why would I make thumbnails for every stream when they only last for 20, so don't forget that these only last for 25 days and DLive delete them. So if it was getting archived on the pro, on the DLive, uh, on the BitTorrent file system, the BTFS, then that'd be great because then they would never disappear and we'd always have, essentially you'd always have an archive of your previous streams without even downloading them. You should download them yourself as well, of course, but this is a thing that was promised or that was spoken of. One of the great reasons that BitTorrent uh, integrating with DLive is going to help the platform because you're going to get in front of more people, blah, 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 blah. Never happened. Never happened. I would be silly to continue putting all the effort in to do all these thumbnails because after 25 days, they get removed anyway. So what I'm saying is from now on, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to have a generic, like pretty much everybody. Let's just check someone at random. Let's check Mythi, Mythic Russ. I don't know for a fact, but let's just check Mythic Rust. Let's go down to their replays. So see this? I mean, at least they're changing them every now and then. There's four that are the same. Then there's a generic one here, four that are the same. So this is what I'm going to be doing, right? I'm just going to be putting up generic thumbnails that I don't care. They're going to disappear. It makes no difference. That's just one subtle difference. The other subtle difference I'm going to be making is I'm going to be streaming less on DLive. I'm going to make um, an effort on other sites. I'm not going to tell you where they are, but if you know, gives a minute, you know my content, you'll know where I've been. And, and that's going to be a slow process because coming up in March 2022, there is going to be a huge incentive on another platform to stream there. And just like I did when DLive was really, really cool and really incentivizing, I don't want to miss out on that. So I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to tell you where it is. You'll know when it happens. I'm just going to step back a little. Um, there's been a few things have happened here and it's very concerning that things haven't been addressed. There's one thing that I want to hit before we take a, a deeper look at my, my page. We won't go too deep into it because you, you might be bored. I just like looking for curiosity, but there's one thing. I'm not going to name names because it's not specific to one person, but there are reports on DLive of many people being suspended without any explanation. So it might not even be a streamer. It could just be a viewer. And all of a sudden they go on to, to their to their um to their page and it says your account has been suspended. There's two real big things that really kill me about this. Is suspended banned? Because if it was a banning, then there's no ambiguity, right? A suspension is like, okay, so you're in the timeout for a while. You're going to sit out of this for the next two games, right? You're suspend. You're a suspension. You get suspended from school. You don't get expelled from school. You come back after the suspension's up. A banning is entirely different. A banning is you're removed. You're not on this platform anymore. And if you come back with another account, you're getting banned again, right? That's a banning. So is it a suspension or is it a banning? Now, the reason I ask these questions is because DLive don't tell you what it is you've done or whether it's a complete banning. So you just get this thing like, and I, I'm not speaking on anyone's behalf here. I'm speaking generally because it's not just one person this has happened to. There's a lot of people that have put this again in the public discord. And I've had people reach out to me privately DMs explaining that yes, they've emailed DLive they put in tickets and no one has replied to them. They just, they're just sitting in limbo. So when there's a suspension, often these people will come back with an alternate account. Like maybe it could be iPhone got banned. So, or iPhone got suspended. See, I'm already getting the verbiage wrong. iPhone got suspended. iPhone 01 comes back with a new account. iPhone 01 is the same as iPhone. It's just a different account. So the reason I ask all this is because as a streamer, it's my responsibility 
to not give a banned user a platform. So this is a this is an unspoken of rule, which is very, very strange, but this is a rule on DLive that's not written anywhere in any terms or any, you don't see this anywhere, but essentially you, me, you as a streamer cannot give, if iPhone is banned, now I can give names here because these are banned streamers, such as Baked Alaska, banned, uh, Lolly Socks, banned, um, Alex Jones, banned, so there's three examples of actually banned streamers. Nick Fuentes, banned. These, I, I'm not allowed to give them a platform on this website. I can't stream and say, hey, got a guest here. It's uh, Nick Fuentes. Hey, do it, man. Want to have a chat? I can't do that. That's me breaching terms. It's me breaching terms that aren't written anywhere, but it is an, it's a known thing. So the confusion lies when there is no list of these people, which there isn't. There's no list anywhere of the banned streamers. And when you get a suspended streamer, it adds this level of ambiguity. It's like, are they banned or are they just suspended? Are they coming back? What happens? And do I breach terms by giving them uh, a house to hang out at? They're not banned, they're suspended. This is probably a, an issue with DLive in general where use the usage of an English word, which everybody knows the word, DLive just choose a different meaning for the word. It's happened before with the X tag, right? Anywhere, anywhere in life, X tag means porno, right? Anywhere. And the the one X is like mainstream porn, then you got a bit more hardcore. Triple X is like the filthiest porn, right? That's, that's always been the case, but DLive insist on making X tag mean political content. So you got the family friendly, you got the M tag, which is mature audience only, where you can cuss and drink. Then you got X tag, which means political content, controversial political content, which makes no sense, right? No sense. So there's an example of it happening before. And now we've got this suspension versus ban. Very, very concerning, very confusing. And the way that could be resolved if it was put in the terms in the terms of service, right there, you could read it and you could say, yep, here's the situation and click here for a constantly updated list of banned streamers. That would be super, super simple, right? So simple, but yet not gonna happen, never gonna happen, right? So therefore we sit in limbo and confusion and it makes it even worse when the person who is suspended has never had a reason for the suspension. Very, very strange. And for those reasons, I'm out. Not exactly, but you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm backing off a little because these things are saddening. These are sad changes to this platform, which could quite easily be averted. And I'm not the only person with this kind of take on it. I'm possibly the only person saying anything. And therefore I get hammered. I get labeled all kinds of things. You should see the DMs I've got. I'm not going to bring up names, but you should see the DMs I get about this, right? You should just, just by saying this, I get hate. I get hate just by saying this. It's terrible, terrible. The people that have done that, and you know who you are, those people that have reached out to me, you should be ashamed. This is not cool. I'm doing this for the betterment of the site and you're hating on me. It's a new year, man. I, just give me a little second here to uh, replenish. All right, all right, move on and let's take a little look at my DLive machine. Here we are. As of January 1, 2022, I was last live 16 hours ago. I did a little uh, New Year's Eve stream. I have 8.42K followers. Thank you to everybody who's followed the Gives A Minute DLive stream. Um, there's two viewers watching this replay. That's cool. One of them's obviously me and you. I guess you're the other one. Um, so got highlights here. Got a bunch of highlights. Got to check some of these. Uh, these are cool. I love all this stuff. Yeah, I love I love all the highlights. Very cool. Uh, what else could I show you about my site? I guess. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's take a quick look at the... Um, let's just pause that. Let's take a quick look at the stats page. Is this going to load? Stats.tidylab. I think this is it, yeah. Nope. Like I said, this is a brand, <laughs> look at my spelling, Typhi Lab. Uh, this is a, and I put it in the search bar. This is a brand new machine. Stats.tidylabs.com. Uh, 
stats.com. Here we go, stats.to. So I haven't done this yet. This is a fresh new new machine. Ooh, potential security risk. What? Oh, crikey. Tidy. Firefox detected an issue that did not continue to stats.tidylab.stream. The website is either misconfigured on your computer clock is set to the wrong time. I guess I'm not going to be touching that. I guess I'm not going to be touching that. Uh, well, I was going to go and have a look at the stats, but um, yeah, I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. If that's telling me that that site's looking a little compre—I um, was going to say comprehended, compromised, I'm not touching it. Hey, look, just before we wrap this up, certainly got a little heated in there in this discussion. I'm not going to shy away from this stuff. If if you want, if you're a streamer or a viewer on DLive and you want things to be better, please speak about it. Speak up. There's no use saying DLive is DLove when DLive is D-dying, when you have the opportunity to help. If you don't say anything and you continue to just present this false, rubbishy, crimson, everything's hunky-dory, when it's not, when you know it's not, then you're at blame. Let's fix things. Let's begin the conversation. It's a new year. Let's start on a better foot because we can fix this. I still believe that. I still believe that there is good things coming to DLive. I'm holding on. I'm holding on for dear life here, folks. I want this. You want it. The reason I came here, the reason you came here, we all want that back, right? We all want that back. Let's get together and get that thing back. But if you stay silent and you present this, just give me some pineapple on the pizza crap, you're never going to fix anything. I'm getting worked up again, folks. Happy freaking New Year's. I'll see you on the next upload or on the next stream. Double cheers, triple cheers, triple cheeses. Cheeses. Get him out of there.